Hello friends, this video on P block part 58 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. This is a little uh, tricky. Please uh, pay attention here. All these noble gas are water soluble. You see all the noble, that's why you call noble gas because all of them are gas. These, all these gas are water soluble. The solubility actually increase from helium to radon. For helium it is 8.6 centimeter cube of gas per kg water and this is at STP. Similarly for neon the value increase to 10.5 centimeter cube of gas for argon it is 33.6 centimeter cube of gas for krypton it is 59.4 centimeter cube of gas for xenon it is 108 centimeter cube of gas and for Radon is 330 centimeter cube of gas. The solubility is increasing. Okay. Now the question is why is solubility is increasing going down the group? The, the increase in solubility is because of the ease of polarization, which increase down the group. Because of increasing size, it can easily polarize. Okay, let's understand first what is the logic behind solubility. See, these noble gas, they are soluble in water because of dipole and induced dipole interaction between my water molecule and the noble gas molecule. For example, I have water molecule, slightly positive charge, slightly positive charge, slightly negative charge, right? So if you see the water molecule as such, so we have slightly negative charge on the right side, slightly positive charge on the left side. But if you see a noble gas, let's suppose you take neon. There is no charge okay now what happens is this one is polar and it has a permanent dipole water is polar and it has permanent dipole okay this noble gas is non-polar and it doesn't have permanent dipole there is no permanent dipole moment. Now this water molecule, it will distort the noble gas electron cloud, right? And it will polarize this noble gas. And it will induce a dipole on this non-polar noble gas. So what will happen after this is, now because of the permanent dipole here, there will be slightly positive dipole here and slightly negative here. It will induce a dipole here. Now because they induce dipole, now this neon will be water soluble. Now if you're talking about the most critical step is polarizing this gas, this noble gas. Now the polarization of this noble gas will increase with increase in size. So if you go down the group, it is easy to polarize. And thus, if you go down the group, the water solubility also increases. Hope you understand the critical critical part here was polarizing this noble gas. So now polarizability of this noble gas depends on the size of the noble gas. Bigger is the size, easier it is to polarize this noble gas. Go down the group, the size increase, that means the polarizability increase, that means the, the solubility in water also increase. Let's talk about the physical property. See physical property, all these are gas first. And they are all monoatomic. For example, you will see helium. You will never see helium 2. For example, you have O2, right? You will not see He2. You will never see this. It is always monoatomic. They are all colorless, orderless, tasteless gas. They are all colorless, orderless, and tasteless. And they are all gas. And I just showed you they are water soluble. I just explained their water solubility. They have a very low melting point and boiling point. This you can just think why we just explained because there is only one over force of attraction. It is easy to break the weak force of attraction. So they have very low melting point and boiling point. In fact, if you see the helium, this has the lowest boiling point that is 4.2 K. In among all the elements in this periodic table, among all the elements known till now, 
helium has the lowest boiling point that is 4.2 k right now these uh, noble gas they have a very unusual property of diffusing they have very unusual property of diffusing through uh, materials like rubber glass plastic they can easily diffuse why because they don't have much bond they are small right and i mean not they are not small actually the atomic size is big but since they don't have much bond they don't form big clustered uh, kind of structure right? they are all single molecules and they can easily diffuse through rubber glass or plastics okay let's talk about the chemical properties uh, as the name suggests noble gas they are very less reactive they are less reactive and why they are less reactive they are less reactive because they have filled valence cells that is the most important reason why they are less reactive and because of the filled valence cell they have very high ionization energy they have a very high positive value of electron gain enthalpy right and uh, they have low electron affinity but all these is because they have filled valence cell and they are stable in their life but actually the reactivity increases as we go down the group why because the vacant d orbital there is no d orbital there is no d orbital right there is no d orbital here there is no d orbital here but we have d orbital here vacant d orbital so actually here also we have d orbital but if you see uh helium and neon they are actually and in fact argon also they are unreactive these are unreactive okay there is no compound known for this but krypton xenon and radon they are reactive limited reactive they actually so as i told xenon forms xef6 xef4 xef2 we will we'll talk about these compounds okay and this radon is actually radioactive so first two helium neon argon they are not reactive and uh, the lower ones are actually reactive okay okay actually if you talk about the reactivity of this noble gas it was in 1962 march this guy neil bartlett he observed the reactions of noble gas he prepared something like o2 ptf6 minus okay in this there is no noble gas but he found that the ionization energy of oxygen is 1175 kJ per mole and he also knew that ionization energy of xenon is for oxygen xenon is 1170 kJ per mole both are almost same so he was very much sure that he can actually form xe pt f6 kind of structure okay so since the ionization energy o2 was the same as xenon so you can he, he found he felt that you can actually uh, instead of o2 we can easily have a compound xcptf6 minus just with the data that they have same ionization energy so he did lot of research and he was actually able to form this compound by mixing my xenon and ptf6 that is platinum hexafluoride and then on he got this compound xc pt f6 this is the minus charge this is the plus charge here also my o2 has a plus charge and this has a minus charge okay this compound is called xenon hexa fluoro stick platinate is in on hexafluoro for f6 and platinate 
and after this once this uh, this was the first compound prepared from a noble gas okay and after this there were some other compounds also prepared for noble gas as you know for example xcf6 xcx xcf4 xcf2 we'll discuss about these things if we talk about krypton also we have fewer krypton compounds krf2 is one there are but fewer krypton compounds okay thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again